Hello everyone, I'm Kayla Bankston. Welcome to In Depth with the Tommy Media, a show that explores campus issues that affect you. The Minnesota Department of Health recently announced the number of some reported sexually transmitted diseases in Minnesota has increased by 10% in the past year. The Centers for Disease Control and Prevention says that half of all new infections occur among young people ages 15 to 24. Today we'll find out how St. Thomas addresses sexual health issues and what options are available to students. I'm joined today by St. Thomas Health Services Nurse Practitioner, Gail Consumius. Thank you so much for joining us today. Thanks for inviting me. So my first question for you is, what do you think is the cause for an increase in STDs, especially amongst younger people? Well, I think part of it is there is um, better testing. Um, people are seeking testing more frequently, and I think we're catching the disease. It's mm -hmm. become now a routine thing that we screen for versus um, testing if somebody's coming in with symptoms or concerns. I also think that you know there may be an increase in sexual activity if individuals are not using protection when they choose to be sexually active that also increases the numbers. So there's all uh, it's, it's uh, multiple factors coming into play. I see and how does the student population at St. Thomas relate to the state of Minnesota's increase in STDs? Have we seen an increase as well? You know, it, I think that's a challenging question because not all testing is done just in the health service, so we don't necessarily know uh, exactly what the numbers are at St. Thomas. Some people come to the health service, some people seek outside resources, but I think we need to look at the overall number in the state in general and realize that it affects all of us. I see. Other associated colleges in the Twin Cities, for instance, McAllister, Hamlin, and Augsburg, do supply protection for students such as condoms. Being a Catholic institution, St. Thomas does not. What other services do St. Thomas offer that promote safe sex? Well, I think the one thing is uh, uh, testing. And, and our goal um, is to help our students be healthy to be educated and knowledgeable and to understand how to take care of themselves. And if there's any concern or confusion or lack of understanding, not sure how to take care of themselves or, or are they at risk, they, that we offer education in the health service, they can have a confidential appointment. Any appointment in the health service is confidential and um, that information isn't shared with anyone. And so I think that's important for them to understand and that testing is easily available and education on how to take care of yourself. I see. And what can students do to ultimately protect themselves from STDs? You know, if you look at the information out there, and even uh, the Minnesota Department of Health and the CDC will say the best way not to uh, contract a sexually transmitted disease is not to be sexually active. So abstinence is, is key. Um, if someone chooses to be sexually active, waiting, as long as, it, you know, the older you get and the less exposure you have, the less chance you have of, of catching an STD limiting the number of partners that you have. Thank you very much. If you have a question about this show or an idea for an upcoming segment, tweet it to at Tommy Media. Thank you for joining us. With Gail Consemius, I'm Kayla Bankson. We'll see you next time when we go in depth with Tommy Media.